Oh, man. Okay. Uh, sorry, everybody. We're working as hard as we can to restore the connection. Uh, President Obama has just announced to Washington, D.C. area children that he is indeed a secret Muslim from Africa. Uh, while we wait, we'll take some more callers. Uh, Ali, go. Yes. I'm calling from my new storefront mosque here in Humboldt Park, and I cannot tell you how upset I am at our President Obama about this decision to impose Sharia law so suddenly. It has taken me all the money myself and my relatives have to open this 50-seat place of worship, and now everyone in America is going to need to pray to Mecca? I do not have the room or the space. I must expand and expand quickly. Do you know if there will be any American grant programs that can allow me to do this? Allah and Obama be praised. I don't know how to answer that one, Ali, uh, but we'll try to find some answers for you. Uh, Right now, let's go to Jeannie, who has a child who is at the location with President Obama. Jeannie, what's up? Hi, Mike. I have my son at the thing over there. He's texting me about what Obama's saying. Really? Can you tell us what's going on? Okay. I'm a little rusty on the whole abbreviation thing the kids do, but he texted Amit Rally, O-M-G-S-C-R-I-P, W-T-F-B-O, M-S-L-N, L-M-A-O. Still on Xbox, X-O-X-O. And what do you think that means? I think that means he's having fun. He's listening to our president, and I don't have any idea what the rest of the alphabet salad says except XOXO, of course. I love you too, son. Thanks for the call, Jeannie. Um, I'm getting alerts that we're back live inside the megachurch. Let's go back to the feed. Come down around the ears, and what's the punchline to that joke, kids? 911? <laughs> uh, but back to Islam, kids. Satan. Satan! That's right, kids. Secret Muslims worship Satan. And now that we have taken over the country, you all worship Satan. But Satan's bad! No, no, Satan's awesome. According to the Church of Satan, the individual is the most important thing in the universe. Personal greed and self-centered ambition are the most righteous of values. You don't have to worry or care about what your neighbor wants, because you can have everything that you want. And Satan has all the candy. Oh, I want candy. 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 Then let's hear it for Satan. <laughs> Hail Satan. Well, <laughs> well, it seems we've uh, lost the connection again. So we'll go ahead and take the call uh, from Walter in Peoria. Walter. Uh, Walter. Did, did those kids just? I I can't. Did they just? Well, it seems like we just lost Walter. Uh, Let's go to Gunther. Gunther, what's going on? Yeah, I can't believe I just heard a bunch of kids praising Satan. This president is luring America's young people to the dark side, and it really pisses me off. And why is that? Because that's my job, damn it. I'm the basis for Dripping Fang. The awesomest death metal band in DuPage County. If the president is converting millions of children to Satanism, he's eliminating most of my future audience. All right. Well, thank you for the call, Gunther. I think we've got the feedback. Let's check it out. Kids, did you know that the Satanic Bible written by Anton LaVey includes dedications to Ayn Rand, H.P. Lovecraft, and Orson Welles? In fact, Ayn Rand was one of the first proponents of the conservative philosophy known as objectivism which says that the individual prosperity is the holiest pursuit of man because individual ambition is the only virtue that has ever accomplished anything. And do you know what that's called, children? What? Rugged individualism. And what could be more American than that? Nothing! That's right, kids. From here on out, it's bootstraps, free markets, and limited government. This holiday season, there are no gifts or handouts. It's every man for himself. But Mr. Obama, my parents are rugged individualists. And last Christmas, all I got was a rock. Yeah, and I like giving presents to my friends and family during the holidays. And last year, my family and I went down to a homeless shelter to donate gifts to other little kids who don't have anything. And it actually felt kind of good. That reminds me of the meaning of Christmas. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. 
And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all my people. For unto you this day is born in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Uh, children. You know, kids, if the people who believed that story would take peace on earth and goodwill towards men seriously. That would be good for believers and non-believers alike. In America, we have freedom, which means you can be all kinds of things. You can be a socialist, a communist, fascist, Muslim, Satanist, or a free market capitalist. You have the right to believe and say things that make other people angry, but that also means that other people have a right to believe and say things that make you angry. In short, children, everyone has the right to be an ass. So remember, enjoy freedom responsibly. All right. Well, that is the DB, Democracy Burlesque. That was the Christmas special. I enjoyed listening to it as I was building it. And I'm, I, we had a lot of fun building it. They the, had actors coming into the studio. They were leaving the studio. People were coming in. I didn't know who they were. It was a lot of fun, though. And I hope that anyone listening to this understands satire and understands that this was just in fun so you guys you guys put a lot of work in oh, to, yeah. into this <laughs> and um you got i'm sure there's a lot of people you want to thank by name absolutely Indeed. uh i'd like to do a quick shout out to our friend eric seal down in lexington kentucky who did our poster there's a poster which, there's a poster you can see it on our website all right and the, the website democracy burlesque Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. There you go. All right. And we just wanted to go through the credit list. Right, you got 30 seconds. Just... The War on Xmas, conceived by Kathy Beach Parsons and Eric Parsons, produced for WCPT by Mike Sanders and Julia Shu, produced for Democracy Burlesque by Eric Parsons and Joseph Fedorko, directed by Eric Parsons, engineering and recording by Mike Sanders, written by Jason Burkett, Joseph Fedorko, Paul Moulton. Eric Parsons, Spencer Parsons, Nick Tonioni, and Jamie Winger. And performed by Gina Bacola, Cameron Comstock, Joseph Federko, Greta M. Frank, Greg Landgraf, Sylvia Mann, Paul Moulton, Eric Parsons, Spencer Parsons, Kayla Pulley, North Roberts, Mike Sanders, Nick Tonioni, Carrie Wheeler, Jamie Winger, and a special appearance by Mike Novak. All right, well, that was the uh, Democracy Burlesque and Our Town Christmas special. Uh, you can go to the website, democracyburlesque.com. Okay, and you guys, your tagline, real quick, knock it out for me. Democracy Burlesque. Only the politics are naked. All right, Mike Novak's show coming up next. Self-Help Sunday starts in just a minute. Thank you for joining us here on Our Town, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike.